I fall into the wrong hands. What do you do when you keep a lioness as a pet? Only for it to turn against you and make you its food. Well, Mungai Eve and director Trevor's love story can be summed up by Trevor's words. Someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree long time ago. This can easily be interpreted as the pool of fame Eve is swimming in being the result of Trevor's hard work. But who should we blame for their breakup? In this episode, we will illustrate how Trevor dug his own grave in the name of love. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Amungai Eve has transformed from a modest woman to a seductive and captivating internet personality. Personalities as renowned as Mungai Eve are held to standards that are nearly impossible to meet. But what happens when a person simply gives up, disregards the societal norms, and starts behaving in a manner that leaves you questioning if what you are seeing is real or a dream? We must acknowledge from the outset that everything in Eve's career could be an orchestrated marketing plan, or we could genuinely be observing someone descending into madness. Eve is well versed in the ways of the internet. She knows which photos will leave men drooling, what will stir up a frenzy online, and she has consistently capitalized on this throughout her career. With the assistance of her former boyfriend director Trevor, her ascent to fame was no easy feat. She had to combat online bullying from netizens who deemed her too slender to be a celebrity and then do a constant social media backlash of flaunting her love life. By then, when I was starting, every time I'm going to I feel like crying. By then, when I was starting, I was very sick. I was, I was having ulcers. And then, you do a video, and a person is like, oh, you're very skinny. See you in Yeah, by the time we're starting... No, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. However, this adversity helped her develop a thick skin, and she relished every moment of her life, even confronting her haters head on. Before the emergence of the pandemic that is in 2019, Eve was an ordinary girl from Uranga County with aspirations of city life in Nairobi. While Trevor, a young university student, harbored dreams of becoming a renowned film director. During the onset of the pandemic, fate intervened, bringing Eve and Trevor together. Eve, aspiring to be a journalist, crossed paths with Trevor, who had a knack for handling cameras. Their collaboration birthed a YouTube channel bearing Eve's name. Although primarily known as a YouTuber, Eve also ventured into singing, featuring into two Gengeton songs, though without achieving the desired fame despite Gengeton's dominance in the entertainment industry at that time. Determined to succeed, Eve and Trevor shifted their focus to producing content centered around interviewing emerging singers on their channel, with Eve as the face and Trevor behind the cameras. So welcome back guys, it's your girl Mungai Eve. Leo ni koapa, I did a video previously and unfortunately it got so many mixed reactions and some of them were insults, especially from the group Mbugi Genje themselves. I got a lot of insults na nimeamua leo, at least I come back to the group. I don't know what they have for us but I'm sure they are going to talk. Let's hear from them. Leveraging his expertise and social media experience, Trevor coached Eve on presentation and camera presence, unknowingly paving the way for his own downfall. Within a year of their YouTube presence, Eve had amassed a significant following on both YouTube and Instagram, attracting viewers eager to witness the happening in the ghettos where she conducted interviews with up-and-coming artists. As their fame grew, so did their wealth, prompting the couple already cohabiting as spouses to trade their residence in Juja, a middle-class neighborhood, for Kilimani, an enclave where Nairobi's elite reside. 
The transition to their new abode thrust them into the realm of celebrity and affluent YouTubers. Life in Kilimani wasn't without its challenges, as marketing deals overlapped their social media platforms, ushering in a flood of wealth. They found themselves navigating the world of celebrity, rubbing shoulders with Kenya's top celebrities. Their YouTube content underwent a transformation as well. No longer focusing solely on struggling artists, they also focused interviewing established celebrities, reflecting their newfound status. Eve's personal transformation paralleled their rise in status. The influx of money seemed to infuse her with boundless joy, leading to a remarkable physical transformation. From a modest internet personality, she evolved into a prominent social media influencer. Her figure enhanced and her wardrobe upgraded to designer labels. She embraced her transformation unbashedly, showcasing her curves and newfound confidence online. Throughout this journey, Trevor remained behind the scenes, seldom in the spotlight. His identity remained a mystery until the couple began publicly flaunting their relationship on social media. However, Trevor had no idea that his world would soon collapse when controversial internet personality Andrew Kibe sounded the alarm about Eve's attire. Kibe believed Eve's penchant for posting semi-nude photos signaled her intent to attract men other than Trevor, her boyfriend. You see Munga Eve, the way she's doing those interviews? Have you seen her new photos that she's putting out there on the internet? Kale kafukusui ya kajui. Kafukusui saai. Chuma chake ki motoni. Hakajui, hakaoni, hakaoni kuna siku, kuna vile. Kuna vile napangiwa. Atoko wa kitoko. But haoni because deki. You see the one deki. The, the day the woman will be strong enough, she's going to leave that guy crying. Kasi mama peke yake. Tutazikia kisama nini? Nobody will ever convince me about love. <laughs> eh? And, and I, I don't believe, believe in relationships, relationships anymore. anymore. That is what is going to come from his mouth. Bro, mina kwa mbia demi yako akiwa kwa limelight. Uzi demu wako, so I say my wife or my girlfriend. She belongs to the team. She belongs to us. She's a In response, Eve and Trevor lashed out at Andrew Kibe for meddling in their affairs. Eve was particularly determined to put Kibe in his place, labeling him an old man twice her age and insinuating that without her and Trevor, Kibe would lack content for his social media platforms. Kibe, actually, I'm too young to stand here, start talking about Kibe. He's more of my dad or maybe my grandfather. He's too old for me to kusimama apa ni mongelele. One thing, he should thank me because that was a breakthrough video. Because from ukiangalia video ndo from up ndo alianza kupata views it's so evident ajai pata videos views before so hiyo video yetu ndo ilifanya apate views anafaa kunipea um, shukrani another thing i feel like kibe is too old to be in battle with young people me i'm just 21 yeye mwenyewe anasema nga in 21 hakuwa anafanya anything with his life right now me i'm trying to do something with my life in, instead instead yeye kama babangu anikosoe yeye ako hapo yani me me don't like him to be honest me simpendi yet in late 2023 cracks began to appear in Trevor and Eve's relationship They started deleting each other's posts on social media and eventually unfollowed each other. Speculation arose that Eve was involved with multiple men including a prominent businessman in Nairobi, a situation that really angered Trevor. Responding to the cheating allegations, Trevor vehemently denied them, claiming he had never caught or witnessed Eve being unfaithful and dismissing those spreading rumors as mere Twitter gossipers. Ache, iliwahi kusemekana eti shemshem anakuchiti. Eh. Hiyo bado sijaona mwanangu hiyo. 
wote yule jamaa yule jamaa fulani vibigi fulani wa kule mojawapo ya kampuni za kamari ya kubet betu ah ile ilikuwa tu watu wa twitter mwanangu alikuwa anatafuta mbea tu so ni uongo kabisa shem shem loyal kabisa kwake kabisa mwanangu na wewe pia loyal kwake kwake kabisa ah, till death do you part <laughs> kweli <laughs> Subsequently, rumors went around that Trevor had fallen into depression due to ongoing conflicts with Eve. Those close to the couple hinted at a trouble in their relationship, with accusations of domestic violence surfacing. What people don't know is that Trevor is a wife beater with his kissy tempers. What also people don't know that on that day Trevor got that little mark when Eve was self defending herself. Trevor has been beating Eve black and blue, not once but many times. He is so insecure. Mwanaume anajaribu kuangalia huyo Eve hata hivyo hiyo usiku ataonyeshwa. Wow. That is what one of Eve's close friends alleged. However, chaos ensued on February 19th, 2024 when director Trevor made a startling announcement. He was rebranding the YouTube channels featuring Mungai Eve's name, renaming them to Kenya Online Media. Additionally, he declared Eve's dismissal from the channel, deeming her services unnecessary. Her presence is no longer required across our platforms, including the two YouTube channels, Mungai Eve and Instafem, as well as the Facebook page, all boasting a collective following of over 2 million followers he declared This revelation came as a shock to many who initially suspected it to be a social media stunt speculating a staged breakup between the two Twitter exploded with reactions with numerous netizens placing blame on Trevor for creating a brand that would inevitably bring him unrest Trevor was blinded by love he nurtured a lion as a pet oblivious to its wild nature which ultimately consumed him i pity him lamented one social media user in response to their breakup eh hey, kwa hivyo wa Kenya kuna wanaoona kwamba the one to be blamed in, to, in this breakup is Trevor for nurturing Eve lakini unawezaje kuwa na mpenzi na ukose kumnacha sometimes kenyans are weird i think Trevor was doing it out of love alikuwa anataka kuwa na Eve and make it but unfortunately plans zilikuwa tofauti. Anyway, leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye bye.